guys, happy Friday. I thought that I would start the Saturday vlog a little bit early. Today is Friday, right? Um, because Joe's, well, I turned over here to make it less bright and then it got brighter. Um, Joe's dad got in town late last night. Um, and so we've just been spending the day with him. Joe is so excited for his dad to meet Harper. It's kind of, I've been having kind of like a mommy bucket list of like things that I've always wanted to do as a mom, like go on a first family walk and stuff like that. And this is definitely on Joe's daddy bucket list. He was just so excited for his dad to meet Harper. So Joe has just been looking forward to this moment probably his whole life. So he's just been in absolute heaven having his dad here meeting Harper and everything. Here's a little clip from earlier today that I'll insert. So what do you think of your granddaughter, Dad? She's beautiful. Yeah? Yeah. You don't get the whole young kids like this very often anymore. Yeah. Headed pretty good. Harper, that's some good stuff. Look, <laughs> what are you doing? She's holding her head. That is really cute. Just smiling. Are you looking at the camera? Hi. Oh, I got her smiling. Do you smell Harper? <laughs> yeah. Do you smell Harper? Look at this. Oh my gosh, she's totally smiling. So Joe wanted his dad to come out to meet Harper, I'm trying to find something. Um, and then he thought, well, you know, since you're coming out, why don't at like the tail end of your trip, um, we have Chris come out. That way it can kind of be the best of both worlds. Joe can spend time with his dad meeting Harper. And then they can also get some family time because his dad lives in New York. We live in Colorado and his brother lives in Utah. So it's very rare that everybody's able to get together. Um, so we planned on that. Okay, I found it. I got this picnic blanket from Target and when I bought it, I was like, okay, I'm gonna put it somewhere smart so that when I go to find it this summer, I know exactly where it's at. And I couldn't find it. <laughs> Although it's where I would have put it, it was just hidden where I put it. So anyhow, we're all outside just kind of spending time together with Harper and I have a summer bucket list item that I'm pretty excited to cross off. Oh, your eyes look so blue, honey. Whoa! What? Bam! What? <laughs> look down, and then look up again. <laughs> Why am I doing this? I think it's because of the sun, but also because your purple, purple shirt. shirt. man, purple shirt. <laughs> Do it again. Purple, please. <laughs> Harper, are you ready to lay in the grass with Mommy? I'm in the grass. I've been looking forward to this moment for months. Yes, I have. Hey, Harper. It's your first out outdoor picnic without food. Got some grapes or something? No. <laughs> Moxie, go. Other than that, it's blue skies. What's going on? Hey, that Moxie? Blew up some 
balloons. And then we realized that they only last five hours and it's midnight. So they're not gonna last till the morning. We are just going to go surprise them with a whole bunch of balloons now that it's midnight because it's his birthday. to you happy birthday dear Chris dad Joe happy birthday to you Woo! now everybody make a wish <laughs> and then blow out your candles so do you want to open presents or eat cake open presents Open presents. So we've been having a fun birthday weekend. It's technically Chris's birthday. <laughs> but Al's birthday is on the 23rd and then Joe's birthday is in October. So we're just celebrating everybody's birthday. I don't know if I've explained that yet or not. Um, so yeah, we're just about to have a fun barbecue. All the neighborhood kids are outside playing and it's a beautiful day today. And yeah, I'm hungry. That look cool? What is that? What is that? She's a little grumpy right now because it's almost time for bedtime, huh, sweetheart? It's almost time for bedtime. And you get a little bit of a cranka monster when it's time for bed, huh? <laughs> you do. Everyone is downstairs right now watching a movie, which you might be able to hear in the background. And I am starting to do the preparation work to make banana splits. Having banana splits is one of my um, last summer bucket list items that I'm trying to cross off um, so I can get into my fall bucket list, which I am so excited. Every year I say that I'm super excited for my fall bucket list, but this year I'm really excited. <laughs> So, anywho, it's the last little thing that I'm trying to cross off, so I thought it would be fun to do that while his family's here. I haven't had a banana split since I was like nine years old or something. So, anywho, I'm trying to do the preparation work with her just chilling out here on the counter with me, having a little mommy-daughter date, making some banana split. Oh, sweet angel. You are just so precious to the mom. Hi, I love you. Yes, I do. You like this birthday banner? Oh, bless you. You like the birthday banner? Is that cool? <laughs> so to make really yummy kind of like strawberry sauce, all you do is get some sugar. Um, I don't have any clean spoons, so I'm just gonna... You do like a tablespoon or two, and the sugar um, releases all of the juices, that was too much. Kind of stir it around a little bit and then you're gonna cover it and let it sit on the counter for like 20 minutes. And then when you come back, it'll be all nice and juicy. And then if you wanted to, you could smash the strawberries and create kind of like a sauce. 
All right, so I have the cherries, sprinkles, um, chocolate sauce, which I'm gonna put in the microwave, some nuts, and then here are the strawberries. It's only been like 15 minutes, so hasn't been too much time, but you can see all that liquid coming out of that. And then I have the bananas, and then I have all of the ice creams, and of course, whipped cream. This is my um, banana split. And I was talking to Alex about it. Alex, Chris's wife. wife. <laughs> he crazy. proposed to her on our porch, or our patio, last, last. two summers ago. One summer ago. One summer ago, that's crazy. Oh I was telling Alex, I grew up like eating a ton of banana splits, like it was something my family really loved, but I've never made one, so that was really fun to make a banana split. So yeah, we are gonna go down with our banana splits and catch the rest of the movie. Uh, thanks for spending the weekend with us. Hope you guys had a great weekend and I'll see you later, bye.